Excuse me. I was hoping to purchase some practical joke paraphernalia so that I may behave childishly. Rack in the corner. Thank you. If it's funny, it's Bazinga. Interesting. Would you care for a piece of gum? No, oh, thank you. Please, take a piece of gum. Why? Just please. Bazinga. You understand any of that? I don't know. I guess he's just being a little boy. Since when? Georgie? Georgie? What? Would you like some salted mixed nuts? Nah. Look, they're the fancy kind. That's a trick can. No, it's not. Listen, when you shake it, there's a rattling sound as if nuts are inside. Fine. Ah! Bazinga. Sparks residence, Billy speaking. This is the electric company. Hello. I'm calling to see if your refrigerator is running. I'll go check. back. It's running. Well, then you better go catch it. Bazinga. This is Connie Tucker. Leave a message when you hear the beep. Hello, um, Mima. This is Sheldon. If you were home, I was going to say, is Mr. Wall there? And then you would say no. And then I would say, is Mrs. Wall there? And then you would say no. And then I would say, well, if there are no walls, then how does your roof stay up? Um, okay. Bazinga. That was pathetic. It was. I'm not sure I'm cut out for these antics and shenanigans. I guess you're gonna grow up to be a weirdo. I suppose I am. Life is so confusing. I always hoped it would be easier for me when I grew up, but... No, I'm not so sure it will. It's gonna be all right. You were faking. Bazinga. And that's how I became the madcap prankster all my friends know and love. Perhaps you'd be interested in a different game. No. This is a photograph of the 1911 Solvay Conference on the theory of radiation and quanta. Using Photoshop, I've introduced a few anachronisms. See if you can spot all 24. I'll give you the first one. Madame Curie should not be wearing a digital watch. And go. That's it. Bye-bye. Bazinga! <gasps> I have an override switch. I almost died! And I'm safe and sound in bed. Who's crazy now? I'm still gonna go with you! <laughs> no, I'm going out like this. <laughs> Howard, what did you do? They're called tattoo sleeves, look! <laughs> yeah, I bought them online, Raj got a set too! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, right? Put them on, have hot sex with some freaky girl with her business peers, take them off, and I can still be buried in a Jewish cemetery. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga. <laughs> None of you ever see my practical jokes coming, do you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I believe you've misunderstood. I'm not giving you the job. I'm simply affording you the opportunity to apply for it. Have a seat. We'll get started with the interview. What? You're kidding! Please. All right. So. That's what you wear to an interview? 
Come on, dude, we've been friends for years. Oh, pulling strings, are we? <laughs> Sheldon, for God's sakes, don't make me beg. Bazinga. <laughs> You've fallen victim to another one of my classic practical jokes. <laughs> I'm your boss now, you may want to laugh at that. <laughs> Howard. Yeah? Your shoes are delightful. <laughs> Where did you get them? What? Bazinga. I don't care. So we need to go home now. But I'm still working. If you don't come out of there, I'm gonna have to drag you out. You can try, but you'll never catch me. Sakes. <laughs> come here! Bazinga. 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 Hey, here come the jokes. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius Strip to get to the same side? Bazinga! <laughs> right, Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> Hello? I know you're out there. I can hear you metabolizing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. <laughs> It looks like we have some academic dignitaries in the audience. Uh, Dr. Randall from the geology department, only man who's happy when they take his work for granted. But a job. Okay, fine. Where is she gonna sleep? My room, of course. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I have a two-part question. Go ahead. A, are you kidding me? And B, seriously, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> a, I rarely kid. And B, when I do kid, you will know it by my use of the word bazinga. <laughs> so you're saying the two of you are going to be sleeping in the same bed? Yes. Bazinga. <laughs> Amy, I find myself wondering if we should actually engage in coitus at least one time in our relationship. Bazinga. <laughs> Bedtime, please show yourself out. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to go. I don't believe this. <sighs> Bazinga, punk, now we're even. Okay, kidding aside, Howard, you are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. Shall do. Double bazinga, I do. Good luck following that. All the good times we had, like uh, when we went camping and spent that night telling each other all our secrets. Uh, I told him I'm addicted to pedicures and he told me he lost his virginity to his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> she was my second cousin. <laughs> and the first woman you ever disappointed sexually. Bada <laughs>